let f of x be defined to be x squared if x is rational and 0 if x is not rational or irrational. Okay, so we want to see that whether f is differentiable at x equals 0. Okay. So in order for for it to be differentiable, we don't let this limit better exist. So we're interested at in looking at x equals zero. So we're going to substitute x equals zero here. And so we get f of h minus f of zero all over h. Here we have to consider two cases. Well, first, if we look at f of 0, it's going to be 0 if it's not rational. And it's also going to be 0 if it's rational, because if I plug in 0 in for x squared, you know, I get 0. So this is just 0. f of h depends. So if x Oh, sorry, if h is rational, it's going to be h squared. If h is irrational, it's going to be 0. So that's where we're going to have two cases. So case 1, if h is rational, that means that f of h would just be h squared. So then f prime of 0 will be the limit as h approaches 0 of h squared over h which is a limit as h approaches 0 of h and we know that's just 0. Now if we consider the second case where h is irrational we know that f of h is going to be 0 so it's always going to be 0 if it's irrational so anything we plug in will get 0 so then f prime of 0 will be the limit as h approaches 0. Now we know that f of 0 is 0 for, for uh, when we plug in 0. So f of h we set as 0 because it's always 0 and thus the limit is 0. So in these two cases we found the derivative to be 0 therefore the derivative exists and is zero. Now let's look at another example where it doesn't exist. Is x if x is rational and zero if x is irrational. So we're going to define the derivative as a limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h and we want to check that it's not differentiable at x equals 0 so I'm interested in f prime of 0 which means I'm going to set h equal to 0 uh, sorry x equal to 0 and that comes down to this now f of 0 is going to be 0 regardless if it's rational or not. Yeah, well, 0 is rational, so it's obviously going to be in this case, it's 0. But, okay, so that's just going to be 0, which really reduces it to f of h over h. And again, we'll look at the cases. Case 1 is if h is rational. We'll have the limit as h approaches 0. Now f of x we set as x if x is rational. So here f of h is going to be h, which we have h over h, which reduces to just 1. So the derivative here is 1. And that's assuming h is rational. But what if h is irrational? Let's consider that case. Well, 
we'll have f prime of 0 equals a limit as h approaches 0. We know it simplifies to f of h over h and f of h is always going to be 0 if it's irrational because that will be in this um, this case right here it's always going to be 0. So we'll just have 0 over h which is clearly 0. So here we're saying that the derivative is 0. Okay. But in the previous case we said it was 1. So because these two are not the same we say that it's not differentiable. So f prime of 0 does not exist. Okay. And f is not differentiable at x equals 0.